Hey, this is Mark Swartz from MTC Media. Maryland hosts Wisconsin tonight. The Terps are coming off of road loss to Purdue, but it was a loss with some positives. I know, I know this is not uh, everyone gets a trophy. It's the Big Ten. But after an early deficit, the Terps stormed back and actually had a chance to tie it at the end. Purdue's big man, Zach Eady, was very Zach Eady-ish with, with 24 points and 16 rebounds. But Maryland got a solid performance for Julian Reese, even though he continues to play out of position, uh, guarding opponents' bigs. Uh, Reese had a respectable 19-point performance. Wisconsin has lost four out of their last five with Tyler Wall's injury playing somewhat of an impact. He's been available the last two games, and they've lost to Penn State and Northwestern in those games. If you're looking for keys for Maryland, Peyton Young. Jameer Young has had some big games already this season. It starts with him getting into the paint. When the flow of the game allows Young to be a scorer and just a scorer and not have to be a facilitator, he has more of an impact on winning. If Young can get two feet in the paint early, it opens everything up for other people, which then in turn open things up back for Young. And that's something to look for out of Maryland. Board work. The the Badgers are 14th in the Big Ten in rebounding margin. Yes, that is dead last. With how Julian Reese has played of late, he should be able to get some offensive boards. Same for Scott Hakeem Hart, underrated offensive rebounder. Um, those guys should all um, have opportunities tonight. And also, those guys should be able to get some paint touches too against, uh, against Wisconsin. If Maryland can get into the paint, it breaks down that defense. It opens up a lot of things to be able to get those second and third shots, especially against a team that's offensively challenged, which is our, our last key, which is score the ball. I know that sounds simple, but if Maryland can get off to a good offensive start, it will put Wisconsin behind the eight ball. The Badgers aren't a good offensive team, whether they have wall in the lineup or not. They don't bring, and you can't blame it on the offense philosophy because the first thing people want to scream and yell is, "Oh my gosh, it's because of swing offense or the the offshoot of swing offense." It's none of that. The reason why they're twelfth in the conference in scoring and thirteenth in scoring margin is they're just not very good offensively. And if Maryland can get this into a game where we're talking about getting into the sixties to the seventies, Wisconsin's in a lot of trouble. I think that that will certainly bode well for the Terps. I like the Turks to win this one tonight, possibly going away. If you are in the gambling world, Maryland is favored by five and a half, and the over under is 124 and a half. It's Mark Washington with MTC Media.